Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses Blind, presented by Draco Breach. And it is time to start the second monthly mission that Rhea has given us. So let's go ahead and get to it. The Magdred Ambush. Mutiny in the mist. No matter how powerful our enemies may be, there's no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine, the mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. One must wonder why Lord Donato would incite such a reckless rebellion. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. I believe that about sums it up, correct? That would explain some of the Dew's, um, dialogue. To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them. And so he was handed over to the church for execution. Oh, these are both interesting choices. Uh... Speaking from the Church's perspective, we simply pass judgment according to our doctrine in place of the Kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the Church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the Church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. One thing that I will note is during, um, during this month, uh, when exploring the monastery, if you talk to Ash, he uh, laments this mission, and he he can't believe that Lenato, who is his father or foster father, I I don't remember, um, would incite this incident. Report: The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the knight's perimeter. I'm going to need to get torches, aren't I? It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Uh... I mean, I can play defensively. That's... Uh, uh, that is an option. Let, let enemies come to you whenever possible. But torches will probably be a big help. And I'll probably want them on units who can take hits. That's interesting. Myrmidon, Swordmaster, so she's... Okay, one of the interesting advantages slash disadvantages of playing with online on is you can kind of see um, where enemies are or will move to. Okay, I don't need to worry about too much on this map. That's fine. Uh... Byleth can't be moved. I do not like that. Okay. You have... 
Heal and Nosferatu. Okay. This way I'm also not seeing... No, Hubert! No! Bad Hubert! Um... You only have heal, but that does expand my options. You switch there. Defensive 8 versus defensive 6. Uh, I can guess what some of these tiles are. This is probably impassable. This is forest. Even though it says out of sight, you can you can tend to learn things. Unfortunately, this means that they're going to be moving on their own, which means that I'm kind of on a timer. Uh, so that's problematic. Is this what I want? I think I'll I think I'll go with this. Um Not necessarily what I wanted to do, but we'll go with it. Defeat the enemy commander. So there's it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog and let's push through. It's uh, it's fresh blood. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Yep. Now, typically... Okay, that's... I'm going to proceed cautiously, but... Oh, see, that's why you are... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to still go ahead and take advantage of that. still going to attack the... Right, because Byleth is still considered stronger than him. Um, Ferdinand... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Make a decent defensive line. she was going to just destroy that enemy. Yeah, you didn't move forward. I am... Okay, how long does the torch last? Um, that would actually be good knowledge to have. No, Ferdinand, uh, don't get that far ahead. 
Actually, your defense is seven. Petra actually has. Oh. I'm making a tight formation for this. Uh, Byleth is probably fine to go off on his own a little bit. I probably should have used a torch. Is this rebellion caused by Lord uh, by Lenato? You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Well, at least he didn't take the kill. Um You guys are level four. I mean, you are you are an advanced class, but that doesn't matter if Don't want her that far ahead, uh, actually. Just enough. Okay, that should be good. I think my level is going to be quite fine for this. What are you? I'm not losing out on anything there. I know where the I know where the boss is. The boss is there, 100% guaranteed. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Actually, I'm going to have you. I'm going to stagger a little bit. I don't care about healing neutral units. I really don't. So, neutral unit, you're going to have to suffer. Although that is experience, free experience points. Yeah, it's free experience points. Thanks. Okay, now we're running into some enemies. Or not as many as I thought I would. That's kind of also the weakness of Fog. I am glad you highlighted that. See, he moved and he was planning to move... I think he was planning to move further, but he ran into an enemy, which immediately stopped his movement. Uh, okay, I know that... The torch did run out. Okay. Okay, this is... Oh, good. You got it. You doubled. You doubled. Congratulations. Oh, hello. But you're... yeah, that's fine. I don't care about him. Okay. So you're targeting him. Oh. Uh, no, because then you can...
I don't have anybody besides Lindhart with a with a distance heal. Yeah, that looks good. Thank you. Easy and free affinity. Wow. Opening up that guy to an attack. Uh, okay. You need to get out of that forest real quick. I want to move Petra. What I can do... Alright, Mercedes is going to be attacked. No, do not want that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, again, I don't actually care about neutral soldiers. Oh, that's... Actually not good. <laughs> okay, yeah, critical him with, uh, like, no hit points left. That's good. Here? The don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry on. Huh. Predictable. Yeah, get yourself killed. That was... dumb. Now, it's a possibility that that will count against my reward that they were talking about. Um, I kind of hope not. I think Petra might have the advantage here. Okay. That works out fine, actually. Works out fine. Uh... Ferdinand can get the easy kill there. Petra's. Um. What? Wait, who are you? Oh. Okay, sword looks so much cooler in the cutscene. not exactly what I was expecting. Do you drop anything? No. I'm gonna have to be careful with you. <laughs> Paladin, yay. Okay. Oh, there's still one more enemy up here. Um... Guess what? <laughs> Caspar will get a little bit of... I 
Miasma, Mire. Neither one will kill. Free experience points. That is 100% a kill. Where will you move? Actually, uh, juking his enemy pretty well there. Catherine seems like an interesting character. Oh, good. Oh, uh, that the. Okay. Not what I was expecting, but it works, I suppose. Yeah, I don't want the... <laughs> Trust me, I'll be depositing quite a few things. Oh, I can't... Um... Well... Don't really want her getting a kill, though. Uh... That works. That's all the fallen items. I know that all I need to do is defeat the enemy commander, but why leave experience points on the board? You'll note, when I play Fire Emblem games, I tend to route the enemy whenever possible, even if I don't technically need to. That was a nice level up. Edelgard. <laughs> um. Yeah. All you're doing to her right now is making her attack go up. You just gave her plus five attack. Okay, Catherine, what are you going to do? Okay, uh, whatever. Oh, wait, did that heal up all the damage? No, nope, Dorothea is still... Can I weaken you without killing you? Yes. Five versus... Actually, mm. Give Lindhart the kill there. Especially since he was close to level 6 anyway. I need your magic to go up, please. Kindly thank you. Uh, Petra. Go deal with that guy, please. Much 
can't be attacked, so putting you there is fine. Uh, who is left to move? Ferdinand. Because, of course, I'm going to forget Ferdinand. The way, where he was standing, I guess I just got lost in the, um, you could say fog of war. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. So for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.